So I'm in Monterey again, going fishing. Originally I wanted to use some swim baits, but there's just so much kelp out here that it's just nearly impossible to use swim baits. So when I came out here, I had a surf leader rigged to my line already. And since there's so much kelp, I'm only gonna use one hook and decrease the chances that I get snagged out here. Four ounce torpedo weight. I'm gonna use shrimp, I've got squid, but I'm just using shrimp because I know like almost everything bites on it and it's kind of just testing the waters right now to see if anything will hit it. If I get snagged on this, or if it doesn't perform too well, I'm gonna switch over to the cannonball weights and three-way rig, do a little something like that. But first off, got the size one hook, piece of shrimp. Just gonna use like, break off the tail part, maybe three quarters of it. All right, let's try it out. Look at that one. On shrimp, baby, quick. Second cast. Second cast, quick. Close to shore, about five feet off. Woo! Let's go. The reason why I like casting so shallow is because it's kind of reduces your chances to get snagged. All right, I'm gonna try to bring it in. Hope I don't get snagged. Yeah. There, it looks like that braid probably just cuts through the kelp. Change in spots. A little bit rough over there, not too much, but the waves and the current are just washing our weights around too bad. So over here, current's a little bit more protected and we should have better luck. See, I'd be happy with two more fish. Why does that feel like a bite though? Oh, I'm on. I'm on one. Oh yeah, there's fish on there. Come on. Oh, what is that? A perch. A perch out here. I wasn't expecting no perch. Damn. Nice size though. Hell yeah. Nice striped surf perch. Bit on the shrimp again. Ah, time to eat. A little sandwich from Safeway. Ate half of it already. It was good. Mm, I'm hungry. So I've got a couple tips for you when you come out somewhere sunny, fishing or somewhere where you're exposed to a lot of UV rays. One is, just bring sunscreen. And reapply it every once in a while or you'll get burned bad. Another tip is, if you don't have a tackle box, and you don't want to bring everything in little bags, little paper bags like what I used to do. Find a couple boxes. It makes everything so much simpler. I've got all my hooks, all my shrimp flies, all my three-way swivels, sabiki rigs in this box. Just an old tablet box. Works perfectly, easily accessible. You can put it in your backpack if you're like me and you don't have a tackle box. And I just got another box like this. It's got all the goodies in here, all my weights. Some, uh, some rigs if I need to use them. Sliders, hooks and stuff. Just makes everything so much more convenient because when you get out here, you want to fish. You want to be as efficient with your time as possible. Spend as much time with your bait and line in the water rather than making rigs, finding stuff, going through your paper bags. That can be pretty frustrating as you all probably know. So yeah, just some boxes, sunscreen, cast fish. Oh, I'm getting one here, here, hold this. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. It's probably a perch. Oh, where did it go? Oh, man. Oh, it's in that kelp right there. I see it. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a fish on there, too. Oh, there it goes. Dang, that's a big perch right there. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, Damn. oh my god. Just got him barely by the lip too. Oh, that is heavy. Dude, feel that, feel, feel that, feel that, feel how heavy he is. 
down, dude. Dude, feel that. Oh my god. That's like a two pounder. Biggest perch I probably ever caught. Woo! Yeah, let me measure that. That looks like, all right, my estimate is probably, what do you think? 13, 14? 14 inches, man. 14? Yeah, 14. Look at that. That is a fat perch. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm getting a hit though. Nah. What you got on the shrimp fly? I'm getting hit though, look. Woo! Oh, I think he's on there. Yeah, I think he's on there right now. Yeah, dude, got another one. Another perch, baby. Could it be a cabbie? Nah. Oh, nice. It's a cabbie, dude. Small cabbie. Wait, is that a cabbie? That's weird, huh? That is a small cabazon. He's not blue at all. That's weird. Usually you see those cabazons is blue inside. So cool. I love how cabazons don't have any scales and they're so smooth like that. Look at those eyes. So red. I hope he lives. Goodbye, little guy. So earlier I said that this place was Kelpie. Well, let me show you just exactly what I mean by that. I'll leave you with a little drone montage. But before I do, if you could slap a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it, especially if you found this video informative or educational or something. And yeah, shooting this in 4K. I'm gonna scale it down to 1080p, but the quality should be great. And yeah, I'll be back next week with a couple more videos. Enjoy the drone footage. Put your thumb down its throat, grab its head. All the guts will come out like that. Got no fins on here anymore. All the guts are here. If you were fishing, you'd use this as chum. 